You know, Connor Williams has been thinking about his Texas Longhorns a lot during uh, this camp, and Desmond Purnell has more on the imminent move of the Longhorns and the Sooners to the SEC. I, I would never expect it, is it for sure? What was speculation is now official. Both Texas and Oklahoma took the first step in leaving the Big 12 Conference. In a joint statement, both universities informed the Big 12 Athletic Conference they will not be renewing their grants of media rights following expiration in 2025. The two iconic programs are expected to migrate to the SEC. The news is so big, it's reached former UT and OU players in Oxnard, California. Oh man, I wish they'd have did that when I was there, truly and honestly, but I'm proud of, I'm, I'm proud of the jump that they're doing, and I uh, can't wait to see them next year. It's exciting. I mean, it's exciting to see them in the SEC. I'm, I'm excited to see them compete in that league. A move to the SEC is expected to bring both Texas and Oklahoma an additional $20 million in revenue. But what about TCU, Baylor, and the remaining teams in the Big 12? Local broadcaster Chuck Cooperstein, who started out as the voice of TCU football back in 1985, describes the future of the Big 12 in one word. Uh, dead. Because <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> I, I mean, they, they can certainly try to bring other people into the mix. But in the end, will people ultimately care? Now, both Texas and Oklahoma have to formally apply for membership into the SEC. Both schools are expected to be accepted into the conference. In Las Colinas, I'm Desmond Purnell, CBS 11 Sports.